Yes. I'm doing a review of this anime. Yes. And I question myself, what did I do to get myself involved in this? Why why, why did I do this to myself? Because, uh, oh, brother, this is going to be a very interesting anime to watch and talk about, as well as going to be probably one of the most controversial animes that I'm going to be covering on the channel. Now... Obviously, you clicked on the video for a reasoning, and that's to get my thoughts on the next uh, Winter of Anime 2022 I'm talking about, and that is uh, Worlds and Harem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, man, this uh, episode was something to behold. Yeah crazy 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 now this is the intro to the series um i definitely can see this anime being the uh most controversial anime one people some people that might take issues with watching it others might enjoy it um and two people might call it the new the trash of this season because well it isn't like there's been other animes in the past that have been considered trash well one that comes to recent mind is uh the very controversial show redo of healer uh i've watched it and i was kind of disturbed to be honest um even though i watched all the episodes and stuff like that it was still disturbing to say the least here um for worlds and harem i was interested but after i saw this episode i'm like what am i getting myself into um, listen, now, anyways, if you guys know the background of Worlds and Harem, it uh, got delayed. It was supposed to come out, like, a few seasons ago, I think. Well, I believe, like, last season it was supposed to come out, but it got delayed and pushed back to this season, and the first episode came out today. Um, so, uh, let's talk about it. So, what is Worlds and Harem, if you're new to it and you haven't seen the episode and the premise of the story? Well, Worlds and Harem essentially, well, covers this guy i forgot his name i'll have his name by the next episode review next week um but this game th this guy who uh clearly has feelings for this one purple haired girl name i think her name is elisa um and essentially he's gonna go into cryostasis for five years um and everything so he goes into cryostasis he then reawakens only to be awakened um by women around him and the more he finds out after waking up from his cryostasis is that essentially the entire male population on earth is all gone it's dead well we find out that there's like i think they said five other men on this planet uh, on earth now um that i guess we're gonna find out more information about them but essentially he's one of the last few remaining males on planet earth and essentially, this girl, who looks similar to the girl he's in love with, got purple hair. Um, if I, ha I gotta compare the two again. I think they both have blue eyes. She has blue eyes um, and everything. Um, so it's definitely a hint to like, uh, in, are these characters in somewhat way related or something like that? Don't know. If you read the manga, don't tell me. Please, I'm an anime only for this. Um, but going on with the summary, Essentially, you know, throughout the ep throughout the episode, he realizes this, and essentially, this purple-haired girl, the leader in this whole thing, essentially tells him, "Well, because of this uh, virus called the HK virus, or the, the no, no, not the HK, the MK virus, which is called the male killing virus, that essentially will kill all the males um, after you came out of your cryostasis." Uh, you became immune to the virus, so it won't kill you. But the thing is, you have to hold up an end of the bargain on um, for us. And essentially, um, you have to, well, mate with us. That's the most PG way I can say, or procreate with us. And essentially make us have babies. So when we give birth and they're male babies, um, well... They won't, they'll be completely immune to the MK virus. Um, and essentially, clearly, we see our main male character here that is totally against not only sleeping with other women, but doing it with other women. Like we see a scene here 
um, with um, what seems to be the main male female of the series, the purple haired girl, um, essentially try to do something with him, do the dirty deeds with him, but he can't, he doesn't give in. And she even kind of tries to find ways like, hey, you have all these women here that are more than willing enough to sleep with you and everything. And the guy's like, okay, listen, the one thing we find out is he wants to essentially do that stuff, but with a person he cares about the most. And that's his childhood friend, um, Elisa, I believe her name is. And he's looks and he's trying to look for her. Um, he apparently at the end of the episode said he has a lead because he before he went into cryostasis, he gave her his necklace. So I'm guessing his necklace has some sort of tracker on it that he'll use to track her. Now, the question is, where is his friend? Um, we saw his sister grown up, um, and her sister was in the intro, and I'm where of these other girls. So I wonder um, if, you know, that means um, though it's going to be his harem he's having, I don't know. But um, yeah, hold on a quick second, guys. Okay, back with what I was saying. But like I was saying in the opening, there's like these few girls in the opening. So I wonder if that's gonna be like his little harem of girls he's gonna apparently sleep with, I'm guessing. And his sister is in one of them, and I don't want to know what that's going to entail, but I just have to continue watching. Um anyways, um, yeah, as I was saying, you know, he wants to look for this one girl and he's got a lead. And uh, that's, I'm guessing, going to be his mission to find this girl. But you see the one girl that, you know, the other purple haired girl, she's like, well, OK, if you, you can do that. But just to let you know, I'm going to just choose some women to just sleep with you. And you see, if you're looking for this girl enough, that means you should be good enough to resist the temptation of them sleeping with you. But hey, if you happen to do something, I'm not going to be mad. Um, so I'm guessing in their own ways, these girls are just going to come in and try to seduce him as best they can. And the question is, can he resist these guys as well as on, on the way of trying to find his childhood friend? Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see where the story goes to say the least, but, um, yeah, the animation looks good. I will say that I like how the animation looks, but, um, yeah, but um, the last thing I want to talk about before I get out of here is if you're wondering, okay, Cam for 15, how were you able to find this anime? Because I looked on Funimation, Crunchyroll, Verve, HI Dive, you know, I can't find it nowhere. Where can, where do you watch it? Um, and essentially, because this anime has like no official release date when it's coming to the West, like we don't even know if it's going to even come here. Um essentially you're gonna have to look on those obvious sites you're gonna have to watch it off those sites to where well you gotta watch it off of on the internet um sadly um that's the only way to watch these episodes um and stuff like that and if you're wondering um is there an uncensored version or something like that where they show you know what um yes there is an uncensored version um that you're able to watch and i guess get a kick out of enjoyment there um but um yeah that's kind of it um of what i need to talk about i will say i am intrigued with where this story is going to go um yeah i i will say this is probably going to be considered the trashiest and maybe the the i feel like a lot of people are going to say this is a trashy anime um some people are going to be offended by it um but others may get a kick out of it and enjoy it um i know some people read the manga and they enjoy it some don't and they dropped it um but i think i'm just intrigued from the standpoint of just really the story well but obviously you would think that i'd be intrigued for a whole nother reason um because that's kind of the advertisement behind the series so Yes. Am I intrigued by the other part of it? Yes, I am very much. I'm intrigued about that because who will not want to see very cute girl, very cute girls. I'm just going to keep that PG as best I can. Um, but listen, this is a show that if you're a kid, do not watch this. This is definitely more adult than anything. 
Um, but um, I will say I will continue to watch the show um, and see where the story goes, I guess. Um, but it was a very interesting anime and it's going to be a very controversial anime as this season goes on or this series goes on. Now, I don't know if they're going to do a season two. I'm guessing it's going to be based on how it's received. Um, but if they don't end up, then maybe if I end up liking it, um, I'll continue reading on with the manga. Um, but that's just my thoughts on Worlds and Harem and my impressions on the first episode. Uh, so if you guys like the video, leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts on Worlds and Harem episode one. Um, have you read the manga of the story? Um, or are you just new to the whole thing like I am with uh, episode one and just being anime only? Um, and stuff like that um, as well as hit that subscribe button you want to get more anime reviews as well as other winter of anime 2022 content and stuff like that but other than that guys i'm gonna get out of here hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day or night to this video until then guys i'll catch you guys later peace